Okay, so Bob, obviously we are in the 150th year of Derbyshire now, but I just want to take you back a few years to your first memories of Derbyshire. What are they? Well, being asked to sign professional. That was the, uh, the earliest. I was playing at, uh, I think it was Tettenhall in Wolverhampton, Staffordshire, minor counties versus Durham. They were in the minor counties then. And uh, I was told that two gentlemen from Derbyshire had uh, come to speak to me about the possibility of signing a professional forms. And what did that feel like for you to, to be told that you well, were wanted? Well, I, mean, I think it's every schoolboy's ambition to, uh, to play first class cricket or whatever sport. And um, it was my opportunity. And uh, I, I realised that um, I'd got to uh, take over from George Dorks who'd been the regular wicketkeeper for 20 odd years, I think. Um, but I knew that age was on my side and uh, as a young aspiring wicketkeeper, I wanted to uh, play first class cricket. That was it. Yeah. And I mean, you, you f saw those ambitions fulfilled, not just for Derbyshire, then went on to play for England as well. I mean, what a career, a world record holding wicketkeeper. But what are your favorite memories of playing for Derbyshire? Um, well, Basically, I think uh, winning uh, the Benson Hedges and um, or the the Nat West it was uh, in 1981, the first first year of the Nat West Trophy, because it was the Gillette Cup before that, and uh, ironically um, we beat Essex at home at Derby off the last ball of the match. Um, we tied the scores, and um, we'd lost less wickets, so that. The rules of the, the competition allowed us to win. And then blow me at the final at Lords. Um, we played Northampton and uh, the same thing happened again with Jeff Miller and Colin Tonycliffe at the wicket. And they scrambled a, a single to equal the scores and we'd lost less wickets. So we were the first winners of the um, Nat West Trophy. And when you talk about a success like that, what do you think it means to the supporters of the club to, to see Derbyshire on the grand stage? Well, uh, the Derbyshire, in fairness, haven't had a lot of success <laughs> over their 150-year history, uh, winning the championship in 1937, I think it was. Um, fortunately, um, I, I didn't play in any of the, the matches there. <laughs> <laughs> in those days, I'm a bit uh, younger than that, but no, it was, um, I think it's been marvellous playing for Derbyshire for 20 odd years and uh, I really enjoyed it. And of course, it's every schoolboy's ambition to walk out at Lords as a cricketer and uh, as a footballer. You not, I haven't mentioned about football, <laughs> my two years at Port Vale FC. Um, but no, it's every schoolboy's ambition to run out at Lords playing in a test match, which I did. Um, running out at Wembley playing for England, which I did. <laughs> but uh, no, I enjoyed it. And when you talk now, you still have a very strong connection with the club. I mean, what, what does that mean to you personally to, to keep that going and, and to represent Derbyshire now? Well, 20 odd years, it's a big chunk of your life, particularly in the prime of your life. And uh, as I say, playing for Derbyshire allowed me to um, play for England and to travel the world. Playing, well, not at first, um, I couldn't go in the side because of a chap called Alan Knott, Kenton, England, who was arguably the best uh, wicketkeeper in the world at that time. And if it hadn't have been for well, two individuals really. Um, one was Kerry Packer, who um, took away all the superstars in the mid-1970s to play World Series cricket in Australia. And then um, the second person has to be Ian Botham, the great Ian Botham. Because in those days, um, Ian Botham used to win test matches for England with his batting and his bowling, and they could afford to play me as a pure wicketkeeper uh, who occasionally came in with a few runs. 
you can argue the, the case that I wouldn't get in these days because you've got to be a genuine all-rounder. But uh, don't get me talking about wiki-keeping. <laughs> well, uh, finally, if you can, in a sentence, can you sum up what Derbyshire County Cricket Club means to the local community? It means a lot. I mean, um, Derbyshire have been around, as we say, for 150 years and uh, they haven't had that great a time with success, but um, it means a lot to the, the local people and to have a first-class county is something special, really.